if you're the type of person who's into self development and things like that, um, that is very well received here. All right, we got Drew Morgan in the house. What up? What up? And we got your boy TC. Should we have? Should we have some music? No, dude. I want to get copyright. Oh yeah, true. Uh, so we're in the Kona for Tasha's. Uh, what's it called? It's a blessing way. Blessing way. It's Every, a everyone AKA knows. Hippie baby shower. Everyone knows what a blessing way is. Everybody. We don't need to go into that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was just telling Drew how everyone's uh, forearm is the size of their foot. Not by any. If you measure from the bicep curl the bicep uh, crease there to the wrist your foot will fit exactly on that spot in your forearm this whole section right there no so chance. see the forearm length bro no chance dude no chance all right let's check the foot now you take that left foot left foot i'm driving by the way i do yoga <laughs> oh oh damn it's, oh. it's, it's accurate <laughs> shit i stand corrected i stand corrected <laughs> all right um so what's your youtube channel I uh, don't have my name sorted out on there. <laughs> well, you have a channel, right? Yeah. We'll link it below. We'll link it below. So, when you first came here seven months ago, I was here. Yeah, you were. And uh, I was like, who's this guy? Yeah. Ted was the, the, the one of the only YouTubers, period, that I've ever wanted to meet. So, <laughs> I was stoked to meet him. But, um, yeah, then Ted had to leave. I left. I'm back. Yep. I'm leaving again. Yep. I'll be back. But Drew's holding it down, dude. I'm sticking around, yeah. You're holding it down. So, quick, quick talk, real talk. Benefits of living in Hawaii as a vegan. Let's pick a, let's think of three good ones. Benefits of living in Hawaii as a vegan. Okay, biggest one is weather. Yeah. Well, community is probably the biggest one. Community, friends number one. Friends number one. Yeah. Weather. So you got pretty much year-round heat and fucking, sunshine. It's like, the weather's like, you don't even think yeah. about it. It's just always fucking perfect here. Even if it rains a little bit, the temperature's primo. Right. You wake up in the morning, it's not cold. Um, you pretty much can wear just shorts. Yeah. Yeah, with no shirt on 24-7. And uh, it's just, it feels good. And, and it's good for the body. I mean, you get tan and some people are scared of the sun. But right. really... For me and Ted, we talk about this all the time. Like once we're in the sun, we get like charged up. Like it really makes us glow. It I changes feel, I our feel body. Clean and regenerate. Yeah, the same here. It's amazing. And that's being from California. So I think that being in Hawaii, the sun here, it's just one more level up. Right. So we get the we get the friends and family, which is community. Yeah. We've got the, the the good weather and the sunshine. We could say food. And then I I personally fucking I'm all about the fruit here. The fruit right. here is ridiculous. I love the bananas. I love the papayas and the avocados are off the heezy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Avocados are off the heezy. So I'm a big fan of the fruit, obviously. Yeah. So for me, those are the top three. And and. Uh, Almost in that order too. I think weather is probably more important than food quality. So yeah. the weather shit, even if I'm not eating, I feel like crap because the weather's crap. Yeah, definitely. You could be eating so. really great food in deep cold Canada, and yeah. I guarantee you that you're not gonna feel as good as eating non-organic crap food, crap fruit in Thailand. But you got right. sunshine right. and you're sweating every day and you're feeling good. Yeah, there's it's a totally oh, different dude, game. Dude, one more thing. Yeah. The air quality here is pretty good. Oh yeah, it's a it's a it's a under un, underrated yeah um, thing. The air quality, man, it's like we're in the middle of the ocean, right? There's no LA smog around. Yeah. There's no uh, LA traffic around. There's no New York City pollution. It's uh, it's clean air for the most part. Yeah, I think I, every now and then there's some volcanic stuff that comes through. Yeah, on on the Kona side of the Kona side. the west sides of the islands, you yeah. get the volcanic ash that kind of like disperses over um, right. those areas. But we live on the east side of the east big island. Side, baby. So we have 2,500 miles of Pacific Ocean wind coming in, clean air, yeah. and there's just, it's flawless air quality. And uh, there is some rain here. It's yeah. the rainiest city in uh, America. The Northern Hemisphere. The Northern Nor Hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere. Yeah. So it's super freaking rainy, but the rain is not cold. Right. And when it's not rainy, it's sunny. And it doesn't rain usually for more than what, thirty minutes to an hour. No, rain some, comes and goes. So I, wasn't, the, I wasn't here in the, rain, the season. rain season. I wasn't here in the rainy season, but uh, when I'm here, it doesn't rain for more than an hour or so tops. Yeah. Um, and it feels really clean after it rains. True. Now let's talk about the downsides. Downsides. Being uh, vegan in Hawaii. Uh, the food is good, like we said, but it's very expensive. Um, the food here is... If you don't buy your fruit in bulk, you're yeah. paying top price. Sure. Totally. 
You gotta buy your fruit in bulk. Yeah, we're talking we're talking a head of kale can be like four or five bucks at the store. Uh, cans of black beans are like you can easily find cans of black beans sometimes in the four dollar range. I mean you can find them for cheaper obviously, but um, the cheapest I've seen is like a dollar fifty, dollar eighty for a can of beans. Yeah. California you can find organic beans for ninety nine cents any day of the week. What about potatoes here? Oh my god. Potatoes I saw a bag, a pound and a half of potatoes the other day, which is not even one kilo, and it was seven fifty. Holy US. shit, dude! It's supposed to be two bucks. Seven fifty. So yeah, a staple of vegan food here is a uh, staple cooked vegan food here is pretty expensive. But you, yeah, and sure. you don't really buy staple vegan food in bulk either. You, but you buy like staple fruits in bulk. Yeah. And maybe you'll buy. You wouldn't even buy staple vegetables either. Bananas are cheap. Bananas Bananas are, are cheap. cheap. Avocados are cheap. Boom, baby. Uh, and but. And so the greens are expensive because they import expensive. them from California. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Um, there's also a head, of a head of romaine is two bucks. Big head, two bucks. Is that expensive for you? Um, that's decent. It's not organic though. It's right. decent. Yeah, that's from Pam. Got it. But like baby spinach and all that stuff that's coming from California, yeah, you're paying import primo, import, import primo uh, prices. Um, so okay, so the food's expensive. Yeah. What's another con here? I another con. I'd say, I say that it's this is a con and a pro. It's far away from the mainland. Yeah. So like a lot of your homies, a lot of people, like a lot of events that are happening, it's just too far away it's to far. go to. And Amazon Prime, fuck Amazon Prime, dude. It takes like eight days. <laughs> yeah, 10 days, Amazon Prime to get to you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's first world problems though, big time. Yeah, so it's Amazon Prime. They can't go to all these events. They're happening in the mainland. Um, but again, that is a pro as well because it keeps all like the, 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 the ne'er-do-wellers away. Right. Um, Okay, so it's far away, and then what's another con of, of, of living in, let's get specific and say Hilo, Hawaii. Okay, in Hilo. Um, See the meth heads, bro? Yeah, I was gonna think of that too, yeah. The like meth the... heads. So the homeless people, I don't mind homeless people, but meth heads are pretty sketchy. They're like yelling and screaming at like four in the morning. They can be a bit uh, obnoxious. If you're living in the downtown area, you're gonna deal yeah, with that. Yeah, downtown Hilo, sure. I live like two miles away from the downtown area. Up, It basically feels like you're living in the jungle, although it's right. still, totally nice we have a, a electricity and all that stuff which some people here don't have that yeah. Um, yeah so you're not gonna deal with that everywhere okay so now one more con I guess that's three cons right I want to talk one more benefit so be five <laughs> well I haven't got bit bro because I'm downtown no it's hotter now the mosquitoes were flaring okay. up uh, for a while during the wet season right and Evan's place they're brutal, brutal. So okay, so mosquitoes can be bad, but it's like to anywhere in the world if you're near mosquitoes. But um, one more pro I want to talk about is the natural beauty here, the gems. There's these hot spots that are just so sick. Go yeah. fly your drone, go get some awesome footage. Um, waterfalls galore, jungles galore, trails, river streams, ocean oceanic views, um, lava flows. Yeah, so much adventure. I mean, Freaking they... mountains with snow on it. Yeah, and and this. You know, we don't, me and Ted don't get into the spiritual stuff too much here, but it, if that's what you're after, this place can really help open open you up to certain things. There's so much, yeah. it's, it's also part of being close to nature is that it, it connects you back to the whole earth concept and, uh, you know, where you're from. And there's so much spiritual, so many spiritual people here that yeah. you can get to know and hang out with and do weird stuff like go to nude beaches and yeah. you get over a lot of your your insecurities and your fears. Sure. I see that's another pro of Hawaii. A lot of yeah. open-minded people. Definitely. A lot Definitely. of open-minded people who just are like, they do live the non-judgmental thing like to like another level. Yeah. Walking around naked and stuff and uh, they don't care, they're not judging you. Yeah, that, a, lot of people are, nice. a lot of people are coming here to, to, to figure their shit out, you know? Yeah. So you, if you're the type of person who's into self-development and things like that, um, that is very well received here. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of other people doing that, so. It's just part of the community. Yeah. There's there's more pros and cons. I'm sure you can think of more, but this is it for now. I'm gonna keep this video uh, under 11 minutes for no reason. But uh, any any final words for people who are uh, considering going vegan or who aren't, who aren't even eating vegan yet? Uh, no, some vegetarian people watching. Uh, well, I'd say that there's there's zero downsides to being vegan. Um, you can do it cheap if you want. You can do it expensive. You can have all the performance in the world that you want. You can be an athlete. You can look great. Uh, if you're overweight especially, it's like one of the best things that you can do. You can you can uh, lose weight easily on this for sure. 
Um, people heal a lot of their chronic illnesses and diseases. Yeah. Better skin. I mean, you're pretty much disease proof. Disease proof. Heart attack proof for sure. Yeah. You can't get a heart attack. I mean, no, you can't. You can't get a heart attack. Yeah. All right. Instagram. Uh, my Instagram's Drew Morg, and uh, go download my vegan dating app uh, that I came out with recently. It's called Honeybee. Uh, we'll link that below too. So all you vegetarians and vegans who are scared that you can't find a partner out there, we've got an app for you. Uh, we are the vegan tenders, so go check that out. <laughs> all right, peace out. Dope.